over to the snake run. It's gonna be sick. So CJ and I are heading out to skate the snake run today. I got a couple of treats I really want to try. I saw Zep doing like the gap to Smith, and that is sick. But like, he's my mate, and I want to one up him. So like, I want to go. I don't know, gap to towel, gap to frontside crowd slide. That'd be sick. I love you, Zep though. It's cool. Going for gap to frontside towel slide. Danny wanted to do gap to tail off of the love seat onto the vert wall. I got it. I'm so happy. I like, I don't know, everyone just pumped me up. Everyone being here, so like, I don't know, I just suck it. I got into it real nice, so I just like pulled it in. Um, I just did a front people over this wall at the snake run. <laughs> I've done some like gap to tail slides on it, but like, I don't know, crowd slides is like that trick I got down. So I'd like to do that. That's what I'm gonna do. He's going for front curl slide. Dude, that's like a grown Jason Adams trick. Curl slide's a grown man trick. Off tops. Shout out to Danny. Started at the bottom, now we're here. Go CJ! CJ hypes me up so much. Like, that kid is amazing, you know? I, I, I already knew CJ, like, well before this. I, I didn't tell him that, though, because I wanted to act like hell casual with him, you know? Like, CJ, who are you, man? Like, oh, yeah, you skate? Oh, you're pretty good, you know? I saw him here, I was like, oh, this is so sick. And then I'm actually skating with him, which is rad. But he pumps me up so much. He's a little but he pumps me up, like, he's cool. Oh, yeah, that's it. I've taken some good slams, so I've like slipped down to lip slide a couple times and then just like went back. I want it so bad. It feels so much better if you like take a couple really good slams and like don't get it straight up and then when you get it so much better it's like you know you really worked for it. And then when you get it it's just like you can't beat that feeling. The crowd was like so steezy, he had his legs all bent and stuff with the Aussie style. It was so cool to meet CJ and Johnny Jones and all those kind of guys were so sick and they helped me up so much. Johnny came up and gave me like a big hug when I landed it, which is like the coolest thing ever. Like I don't think Johnny knows how much like an idol he is to me, you know? Like I can't believe that I was watching like a year ago, I was watching, you know, Johnny and everyone skating this place and I was like, these guys have the life. Woo! I'm so stoked, stoked. I use that word too much. I'm like so happy. Dude, this boy screams like Grant Taylor. This man needs to like up the ante because I know he can. I'm like, all right, I got you. <laughs> I basically convinced him to go for the tallest nose one. And he tries it one time, doesn't get anywhere near close. And CJ just kept trying it. CJ, he's a prodigy, like straight up. He has every trick. Dude, that thing is taller than his house. How did he do that? I tried like kickflip off of some hip and then nose blunt this thing.
amazing. I can just watch them all day. I don't even have to skate. I don't. My whole Snapchat is CJ. Yeah, brother! Yeah, CJ's so rad! Oh, <laughs> CJ's killing it. Like, absolutely killing it. Like, frontside blunt and, like, isn't even happy with us. He does it again because that's what CJ's like. CJ, for some reason, feels extremely comfortable skating the concrete vert death ramp on the snake run. I saw the clip of him doing nose blunt. And he literally pops up, nose blunts it, goes back in, didn't even look like he tried. Yeah, that kickflip was amazing. So you just had a mad session, the snake run was sick. <laughs> it was dope. Um, Front crayon was lit. Yeah, it was so, so sick. CJ, Nick. <laughs> Demonte's battled with this back heel since last year. Demonte's been trying his back heel on the four block since last year. He stuck it multiple times, but he never actually landed it. Oh. Last year, he stomped so many perfect and kept falling off. Yeah, I can't try anymore. So this year, he's been trying it. He's stuck it again and again and again, but he has not been able to land it. Him and Bronte at breakfast were like, hey, we're skating the four block this morning. And we were like, what? It's like reading 10 in the morning. How are you going to skate that? We were both just plotting on the four block since last night. And we told ourselves, today is the day. Today is the day. This morning, we woke up and we were feeling it. We're like, today's the day, bro. Today's the day, today's the day, today's the day. I think this is the day. Monet's going to put it down. Back heel is going down this morning at yeah. 10 o'clock. I don't know why so early, but it's going down. Insane. Just casually skating the four block at 10 in the morning. Hey, dude. I ain't playing no games. No game, no game, no game, no game, no game. Hey, let's go for it. Hey, Bronte, I got you right here. He started trying to switch out. I was like, all right, right here. I got to start trying back heel. So, Demonte was trying back heel, and Bronte was trying switch heel. Dude, and we just started jumping off of it one by one. Demonte had like so much pressure on him because like everyone was there and like watching and it was like super early in the morning. I don't think they really skated at all except for that. He's like, I just gotta land it to get it over with. It's currently 10.34 and they're jumping downstairs. So it's way too early to be throwing your carcass down a full book. I've already been trying Black Hill since last year and it's nothing easy to see Bronze have the same ambition. It's just, it's really like a sight to see, bro. And I just looked at him I'm like, bro, we're gonna make it happen. Bronze is an easy emotional skater for sure, bro. He's not the type to just put his feelings aside. Oh. Just flip right for once. There was this one, he slipped out and he hit his side real bad, and I was just like, dude. Oh, oh I'm not 
doing them, bro. I can't switch to this. Oh, I just hit my hips so hard. The real slipped. Oh. He wasn't really feeling it as much as he thought he was. And I was like, dude, right here, I'm about to land it for this boy. And I just got up and I was like, I got it right here, Bronte, for real, right here. And a couple of tries later, DeMonte, Axel stops on the quarter, comes down, flips back heel. The first thing that ran through my head was just like, dude, it's over. <laughs> just so good to land it, dude. It felt amazing. When he landed it, I just kind of smiled. I was just like, wow, he got it. It was unbelievable. When he landed, it was like, dang, like he did it, like it was nothing. It was perfect. We all like ran after him. Demonte, I got you. Since he landed his, I was like, gotta get his back. Bronte comes up, switch heel, bop, got it. No way, like that actually went down. They were both done. It was 10.39, and they both landed their tricks in the same minute. It was nuts. It was insane. Dude, it was such a magical moment. Like, it means so much to me that we got back to back. They shut Target down before 11 o'clock. It shut down. That's it. What do we, we, we can love it. That's it. To share with Bronte and to get back to backs. Dude, you can't beat that. That was the best feeling I've ever experienced in my life, for sure, dude. Like, landing the back hill meant a lot to me. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. It's, it's rough. It's rough. That was a buttery back heel, though. This morning, I would definitely remember with DeMonte, for sure. This whole, this whole two weeks has been the best, and I really appreciate that. We finally don't gotta jump off this. I finally got it, it's finally done. I can finally chill, dude. I'm not gonna get asking questions like, did you land it or have you got it yet? And it's just like, yes, I'm done with the vacuum. It's over, it's done. Next time on Camp Woodward.